This is a really terrific, exciting launch as we're launching the first of eight Melbourne art trams here today. This is part of the Melbourne Festival Visual Arts Program. Uh, John Campbell, who is the artist of this magnificent uh, tram, which features the iconic Australian backyard. It is also on one of our historic W-class trams and we'll be doing the City Circle Loop. The other seven trams, which will be uh, rolled out as we go into the first couple of weeks of October, and they'll be on numerous routes around the suburbs of Melbourne between now and April next year. This is a great program. This program was so well received 20 years ago, and we've revived that with local artists doing their thing with their local trams. And when you see the trams roll out, this one is a typical example of the imagination, of the colour, of the vibrancy of the Melbourne art trams. And it is a great way to promote the Melbourne Festival. And I'd like to thank the partners in this project, particularly uh, Yarra Trams, particularly Melbourne Festival and Arts Victoria. And especially can I thank all the artists have been involved. This is a great project, but it is also a project that has allows the people of Victoria to become involved. Because the people of Victoria can vote on the best tram. The best of the eight art trams, they can vote uh, through the Melbourne Festival website and they can indicate their preference. And the tram that receives the most votes will uh, be accorded a $5,000 prize for the artists concerned. So uh, a real opportunity for Melbournians and Victorians and interstate and overseas visitors to have their say when they touch on and touch off with their Mikey, they'll be also be able to touch on to the Melbourne Festival website and vote for their favourite iconic Melbourne art tram. So it's with great pleasure that I say congratulations to John Campbell and to officially launch this magnificent first of eight of the Melbourne art trams for 2013-2014. Thank you very much.